Hello guys, so this is an update on Alex Ikweche, a member of the House of Representatives who assaulted a boat driver. He was arraigned at Kujie Magistrate Court, Abuja, on 30th of October 2024. He is facing three count charges, bordering on assault and threat to life. And this was brought by the Inspector General of Police. Record that he has been petitioned by police department and Stephen's uh, lawyers. Stephen is the boat driver that he assaulted. Record that on the 27th of October 2024, Ikweche slapped and verbally abused Stephen Abuaseya, a boat driver who was contacted by a snail seller to deliver snail to deliver snail to him. There at his residence, he became angry when um, Stephen called him to come and receive his package, a thing he saw as a disrespectful. He expected Stephen to step out of his car and bring the goods to him instead of calling him to receive the goods. So that's when he started abusing uh, Stephen verbally and went ahead to slap him. He also said a lot of things that was a threat to Stephen's life. That's when Stephen started recording the video. He later posted online. The video went viral and that's how this man got his post. And despite a well-crafted apology, which he read by himself to apologize for his actions, he was arraigned because already the police department and the Stevens solicitors have already petitioned him. So he appeared in court and pleaded not guilty to the three count charges but already the video tape of what he did is everywhere so why he, is he pleading not guilty i don't understand i don't get it the presiding judge magistrate abubakar omar said granted him a 500,000 naira bail with condition that he provided two shorties each of the shorties to provide 500,000 naira charge and utility bill as as proof of residence so the court was adjourned and the next case is coming up on november 8 2024 people see what this man got himself into something that is as simple as just calling his errand boy to get the snail for him because of this thing now he has entered into deep problem deep problem yes it is true that maybe at the end of the day he might he will not be prosecuted and all that because of his uh, probably because of the people that he knows you know because he's in the government he might not be prosecuted now let me tell you his name has been dented and this name will be remain dented forever each time people see him they will see the man who assaulted a boat driver it will always be there in the news like in the, on the internet because internet never forgets you know and when one thing happens people bring it out see what this man did to this man you know that kind of thing so see oh my goodness i said it before that once you're in a public eye not even only when you're in public eye anywhere you are you just have to learn how to treat people all you need to do is just to learn how to treat people nice what we owe people in this life is just love treat them with love Treat them with care. Treat them with nicely. Treat them as if they are yourself. Whatever you know that you, when someone does it to you, you not like it. You shouldn't do it to, uh, to another person. Now, what I'm saying is this: maybe this man has been doing this thing in the past, you know, and you know, uh, be he he might have been doing it in the past and getting away with it. And this time around, go use this boat driver to expose him. I think th that's. I think there's a hand of God in this because imagine the boat driver was recording and he said, record me, record me. I am so, so, so. Go and invite the, uh, the inspector general of police. I don't care. You know, that kind of thing. Why not, you know, collect the, why didn't he collect the phone from the man? You see, you see how God is working. God just wanted him to get his post. Even after you are doing all those things to him and he knew that this man recorded this thing, he didn't go ahead and collect the phone or delete whatever he recorded from the phone which would serve as evidence in the court of law imagine this god had just god had just fashioned this man to be exposed 
Do you understand? And who knows who caused them? Who knows who, you know, has said, because of what you did to me, you will be exposed one day? Who knows who has caused him? You understand? Because, and the boat driver was the perfect person for God to use because he is very smart, educated, well exposed, and without a single fear. Have you ever, have you seen the boat driver? He has no fear. I'm telling you, he knows his rights, he knows his words, and he is not ready to allow anybody to intimidate him. So this is the right person for God to use. And God used him at, the, at his own time to expose this man. I guess he has learned his lesson in the future. I'm very sure that he will not try this again. Although you will never know. You will never know what these people are capable of. But I'm sure that even if he's going to do it in the future, he's going to be very careful. And this is also a message or a kind of a lesson to others who are preparing to do the same. Because in Nigeria, as I said before, power, some people are power drunk. They want to exercise their power on innocent people, on helpless civilians. They want to exercise their power on them, to show them, I am this, I am that. But only God will expose them one day. Only God will also expose them one day. And it's the will of God to humble this kind of people. And you know when a power, you know when a power drunk person is humbled, that is the highest thing you can ever do to a power drunk person to hum humble them. People that say, "I will deal with you. I will do this. I will do that." Let something happen to humble them. You see how they will be like chickens that were drenched in rain. So I really thank God for the, you know, for the police. And I thank God for how the courts handle the, is handling these cases these days. I think Nigeria is getting better. If these kind of people will be brought to book, you know, people that think that they are like sacred cows, that they cannot be touched, if they can be brought to book, I mean, Nigeria is getting better. You understand? Let God help us in this nation because a lot of things are happening which are not before the public eyes. Let God continue to expose these kind of people so that, you know, our country will be better. Imagine how we desire that young people come to power. Is this how we are going to be experiencing if they come to power? May God yourself save us in this nation from power drunk leaders. So with this, I come to the end of this video. I don't know what you think about this, but whatever you think, please leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you so much for coming this far with me. In case you have not subscribed to my channel at this point, kindly do so now. Click on the bell icon so that you can easily access my upcoming posts. Like and share this video. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.